Welcome in everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm AC Kingpin 27 with you today in MLB The Show 22 for the final featured program released here in Diamond Dynasty mode all year. We've been taking a look at all the featured programs, all of the other programs and anything and everything that is dropped in game here in Diamond Dynasty. And we're going to bring you the last featured program today, a chance to earn a ton of former bosses. This reward path is huge and this program is never and you're going to have an ample amount of time to turn as many of these bosses as we can we'll talk about the rewards we'll talk about the missions that are live now as well as we have a conquest map for you to knock out and at the end of the video we'll talk about what's coming for the remainder of the month and what you'll be able to accomplish here in diamond dynasty but before we get into the nuts and bolts of the video Drop a like, guys. Smash that subscribe button. Show me some love. And I'll continue this MLB The Show 22 video content series we've got going on. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the videos this year. Hopefully these videos have helped you understand what dropping in game, what these programs are all about. But most importantly, what you've had to do to earn the best possible players to upgrade your squad. Here we go, guys. Featured Forever program. You see all the programs from beginning to end on screen right now. We're going to go right into the program here. We're going to take a look at everything you're going to knock out with it here. So we've still got the gameplay XP earned just by playing. We've still got daily moments. We've got 20 featured program moments from the AL East and the NL East here. So you're going to have moments to knock out 3,000 XP apiece, a chance to earn 60,000 XP in this program. And I think you're going to want to do as many of these as possible to earn a ton, if not all, of these rewards here. We've got some missions. You're going to get 50 innings pitched with Dodgers pitchers, you're going to earn that prime Fernando Valenzuela. Uh, I believe it's the same card that we have rocked out earlier in the year. So if you guys already have this Valenzuela, do this, earn the, the XP you need in the program. Uh, but I believe you already have this player card. There is a ton of repeatable moments here, excuse me, a ton of repeatable milestones that you're going to need. You're going to need to take those finest players and earn 2,000 parallel XP. Milestone players, award series players, signature series, prime series, the Takashi players, the faces of the franchise, your monthly awards and tops now players, and your postseason series. That includes the 2022 postseason guys. You need 2,000 parallel XT, XP with each of those series of players to earn yourself 4,000 XP apiece. So you'll be able to knock that out and get yourself going. So get some games in, build some squads, have some fun with the team build. As always, we have some collections to knock out. You see them here on screen. Uh, if you guys have done some of the past collections, these guys are not going to be eligible. But if you've got a couple of these cards from the from the programs previous, you're going to be able to drop them in here. I'm going to be able to drop this Jeremy Pena uh, for 10000 And I think we're going to be able to drop the Gary Carter and the Kershaw as well for another 30000 with those two combined. So an opportunity for me to really jump in that program here. We've got exchanges. You're going to take all of the divisions and earn yourself uh, 5,000 XP by completing the 50,000 exchanges with each of the six divisions. And then we've got the Snowfall Conquest. We'll talk about that, but I want to get into the reward path first. Let's jump right in here. This reward path starts off hot and just keeps giving away. You see it. First couple things basic along the way. We get a Legend Bat skin. Our first choice pack is going to be here at level 7, 15,000 XP. You're going to get a choice pack from all of the AL players here that were rookies, veterans, all-stars. If there's anybody you guys are missing, now is the chance to get them and add these guys into your sets to try to complete some collections. We're going to get a headliners pack, a big dog pack, a faces of the franchise pack. We haven't seen these packs in quite a while. I know I'm missing some faces for players. I'm sure you guys are too. Here's a chance to get your AL East uh, face of the franchise player. More legends and flashbacks in the National League here at level 13. And you see it. We got Takashi players. You got more faces of the franchise players. The cover athlete pack is, back, pack is back. You see big dog set two, big dog set three, along with more of those faces of the franchise. The ball in is a habit pack. And then at 100,000, that's going to end your faces of the franchise. So the first 100,000 XP grind is all about the faces of the franchise. We're going to continue here. You see headliner set two. We've got some classics players coming back. Some of these guys we haven't seen in quite some time. You're going to choose one of the five of these guys to bring to your squad and start grinding out some games. You're going to see our, our first spring cleanup a boss pack. Now, I remember when these came out. This was early on in the season. 
I got lucky enough to get two of these guys right and early. So I think the Ernie Banks, the Tom Seaver, and the Dave Justice for me are available. You're going to choose one of these five diamond players to bring to your squad here at level 42. You got the veteran Ryan Howard. Remember, that card was available during the Roy Halladay program. And you're going to see Halladay is going to come back here along with the breakout Delgado, the all-star Chase Utley. And then you've also got the breakout Halliday here as well. Uh, you see the always intense set one pack. You see this. You got Victorino, more Halliday. There's Oswalt. We're going to see Cole Hamels coming through. So all these players, if you guys already completed that Roy Halliday program, you're going to get these cards again. All right. Um, set five headliners pack at 210. And then we continue that Roy Halliday, that 95 postseason Roy coming in strong again. Another Legends and uh, Flashbacks pack here. More players, new players, some of the more upgrades from what we had earlier. So a chance for all the ALs and three drafts. You're going to take the East, the Central, and the West here. You're going to earn set six. And then you got your NL, Legends and Flashbacks players. So again, you're going to have an opportunity to earn a ton of players. I think they said there's 38 plus packs in this reward program. So you can bring some of these guys to your squad. You see another Legends uh, Ozaki pack. We got a ton of the 93s, the 96 Soriano and the 97 Bob Feller here. And then we start Futures of the franchise. This is the program I've been wanting to see make a comeback. So a chance to earn some Futures players here. You see the AL East, the Central, the West, the NL East, the NL Central and the NL West. So at 300,000 XP, we've already gone through Faces and we've gone through Futures. You see it here, upgraded uh, legends and flashbacks players. Here we go. There's another five to choose from. All right. You're going to see that here in classics. You're going to see another five to choose from. Bring these guys to your squad and rock out. We've got another sizzling summer boss to take a look at. Now, this was a, a very well-designed program here. So these were the four Ozaki players. You're going to get to choose one of them to bring to your squad. So good luck choosing which one of these guys. I think I've got the Musial and the Wagner. So I think Piazza and Raleigh Fingers are on tap for me. You see here, another flashbacks pack. So these are 90 to 94 overall uh, AL flashbacks and legends players here. Again, cards that may not make your squad if you've been playing all year, but cards that you may need to finish out some of the sets along the way. And to get them for free, I think it's going to be a very positive step in direction for MLB. You see here, All-Stars of the franchise makes its comeback, along with the Home Run Derby and the All-Star Game Choice Packs. So you're going to be rocking some of these until you get 500,000 coin. You also get that 5 tool player Toolbox Pack scattered in there as well. You see here at level 97, more Classics players. We see 91, 92s now. You're going to choose between the five of these players which guy you want to bring to your squad. You're going to see the Field of Dreams flashback boss pack with between Vado, Yadier Molina, and Zach Greinke. So that's, again, another huge pack to get to choose one guy to bring to your squad. You're going to see it again. You're going to get the Field of Dreams legends as well. Brian Roberts, Ron Santo, Al Kaline. You're going to see the Future Stars pack with O'Neill Cruz, Riley Green, and Grayson Rodriguez. I think this is the program where I took two of the future. So I think Grayson Rodriguez is the only future I do not have. So that'll be where I'm going to sit with that one. Another flashback legends pack here at uh, 610,000 XP. You're going to get to choose between these 95, 96s and bring one of these guys to your squad here. You're going to see, we got some more ball and packs. You got the Mickey Mantle, the 98 overall Mickey Mantles in the reward path here. You're going to see the dog days of summer bosses. You're going to choose one of these bosses, Pedro, Cal Ripken Jr., Johnny Bench, choose wisely. Know what your collections are so you know what you need to choose here as you pick through some of these packs. We've got some ball and out of control packs, set 17s, and again, more classics players to choose from as we continue the program grind. More flashbacks and legends from the National League here as well. There's a ton of players, guys. The 99 overall prime Eric Davis is here. And then we've got a back to old school choice pack here at 780,000. XP. This is where you're going to get the Billy Wagner, the Chipper Jones, the Lou Gehrig. Man, I, I know I took the Wagner. I, th or I think that Chipper Jones might make my team here. You see Headliners level 20. Actually, we're going to get to level to set 50 of the Headliners along this word, reward path. So a ton of rewards. The legends of the franchise make a comeback. We've got the Juicy Packs in here. Uh, we've seen these a lot lately. So the NL uh, West Legends of the Franchise Pack is your last Legends Pack, and that's going to hit there at 900,000 XP. Madison Bumgar comes in here. Whitey Ford comes in. You see the Joe Carter, the Willie Stargell, the Kurt Gibson, the Luis Gonzalez, and then you see another boss here. We've got the Fall Stars boss where you're going to get to choose one player. We've got Babe Ruth, Bob Gibson, Chris Sale, Eckersley, Lindor, Jimmy Fox, Joe Maurer, 
Ken Griffey Jr. and Vlad Guerrero. There were nine of these guys. You're going to get to bring one of them to your squad for free just by grinding through this program. So a lot to do. More classics. Here's your AL classics. These guys were 97 90 through 99. These were some of those finest grind players that we had when the 2022 finest players came in. You see classics here for the National League. Again, 97 to 99 overall on these on all of these players. So just choose wisely when you guys need these free players. You're going to see headliner set 25 all before the finest of the franchise players make a comeback and you get your choice of player packs here up through 1,100,000 XP. You see, then we take a look at headliners 26 set, 27, some balling packs. And this is where we get in just groups of packs. You can have a chance to earn 200 show packs here in this program, a chance to earn 50 balling packs, whether it's balling a habit or balling out of control, and a chance to earn one pack from every set of headliners here along the way. So we're just going to kind of show you the final grinds, the final XPs, what you need to earn some of these packs. I'm thinking this program is going to be a very long haul. You see it. It ends in 5,509 days. So they're giving us a ton of time to knock out this program. So a lot of time left before the next uh, iteration of MLB The Show. So you guys should be able to grind out at least the program players that you're looking for to bring to your squad, complete some collections, and maybe save yourself some stubs along the way. You see just a ton of packs to grind through, and you're going to see where this program is going to end at 2 million XP. Look at, like I said, set number 50 coming in there at level 208 at 1.99 thousand here. We're looking at a pretty decent program. Let's go talk about the Snowfall Conquest because you're going to earn yourself 45,000 XP, right, by completing this conquest. So let's go take a look at what it looks like. You see you're starting in the middle and you've only got three teams to beat, all right, but there are over 37 reward packs. So let's take a look at what the goals are. 15 territories get you a show pack. 25 million fans get you a set 25 pack. One enemy stronghold, three headliners pack bundle. 50 million fans get you pack 50 here, set 50 for the headliners pack. Uh, two enemy strongholds get you a diamond equipment choice pack. All three enemy strongholds, five headliners pack. 10 show packs at 75 territories. A cover athlete choice pack here at 97 territories and completing the map as well as all of the hidden rewards that are scattered throughout this map you see them on screen this is everything you guys are going to be able to try to grab good luck get this conquest done complete it and get yourself one step further here in this final forever program now before we leave today i want to get in and talk about what's coming they gave us a little bit of a schedule to kind of take a look at what's coming so they said on 12 6 we're going to get a showdown so a 30,000 xp showdown that's going to feature monthly award pitchers from april uh, through june Next week, we're going to see uh, all-time moments come in from the Central Division. So the NL and AL Central is going to give us a chance for 60,000 XP. So it's probably 20 more moments. We're also going to get a new Conquest map next week. So be on the lookout for that. Then the week of the 12th, so we're two weeks away, we're going to see another showdown, another Conquest map, and a new event. We'll see NL pitchers taking on the AL hitters in the new event. So stay tuned to the channel for more. There's going to be content coming. There's going to be things that, that San Diego Studios is throwing at us. Everything that drops in game, guys, I'm cutting videos on it. I'm sending it out to you, so hopefully you guys are enjoying. That's it for today's content. Let me know in the comments below how you feel about this forever program. Is this something MLB The Show does every year? Remember, uh, it's my first year really diving into Diamond Dynasty, so I'm excited to see this type of program. Let me know in the comments. Is this something they do every year? Is this something you're excited for this year as well? And are there any particular players you're definitely making sure make your squad as you grind through this program? Guys, appreciate y'all being here. As always, I'm AC Kingpin 27. Stay tuned to the channel for more. Stay safe out there. And remember, I'll catch you guys next time.